Okay, so I'm going to show you how I wrap my chunk samples. Sorry about the lighting. That's all I got to work with. Okay, so I've got a spring summer catalog. I already removed the staples. So I take a page out, fold it in half fold it in half again that way it makes a perfect cut it doesn't have to be perfect though because you're going to be using tape and you're going to cover the edges so you cut it down the center okay put them together you can either fold them again or just cut it down the middle okay depending on which sample size you choose to use okay the smaller ones I cut the half and half again for the larger ones I leave it in a square okay so I tend to pick whichever side is the most colorful okay so you put the chunk sample in the middle yes the square is going to be too big but it's okay because you're just going to fold it over and you're going to tape it. If there's too much on the ends for you, you can just snip them off wherever your chunk is. But leave enough. It's going to be kind of folded like a Christmas present. So I always fold in the corners and then fold it over. tape it same with the other side okay all right so there's that okay now this is roughly about the same size as the portal samples so that works well if that's what you're going for the littler ones, you tend to, you know, you can sample more of the chunk, but that's entirely up to you. Okay, so the half of the half of the half. Same idea, okay? You just fold it over and tape it. And they're like mini Christmas gifts, if you will. But however you decide to sample your chunk is up to you. Um, I choose to use old catalogs. That way I'm not throwing anything away. And since that's an investment you already made, you're still getting your money's worth. Or you can use the, the plastic sample bags. Whatever works for you, works for you. So... Two different sample sizes, it's completely up to you, but this is how I roll.